Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, I am going to be doing a hair tutorial. It's actually my very first hair tutorial here on my channel, so I'm pretty excited. I am going to be showing you guys how I curl my hair and how I style it and what I use to curl my hair. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys one secret that will make your curls last way longer. So if you would like to know how I achieve these curls, then keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started with this side of my hair. As you guys can see, I am done curling this side of my hair and look at how cute they are, you guys. But I'm not going to touch them just yet. I am going to move this section to the back and not touch it. So the secret here, the secret, is to let your curls set for about 25 to 30 minutes if you want your curls to last longer. So if you're like me that you don't wash your hair every day, then I would recommend doing that. Because if you just break down the curls or if you just run your fingers through your hair right away after you're done curling your hair, then the curls are not going to last that long. They're going to fall off maybe by like, you know, the night or the next morning. You can even do your hair first and then move on to your makeup. Obviously, I didn't do that today because for the purpose of this video, but you guys get the point. So let's get started. I just need this section of my hair. And you guys, I know, I know that I need a haircut. You guys don't have to tell me. But I don't know, I just, guys, it, it scares me whenever I go and get like a little trim or whatever. Because every time that I go in the hair salons and I ask them to trim it, they end up cutting like this much. So I'm like traumatized, you guys. I'm wanting to learn how to cut my own hair at home, but I still haven't learned. So <laughs> anyways, okay, let's go ahead and move on. So usually what I use for my hair is this really good spray, you guys. I actually received this in my BoxyCharm a few months ago. And this is like the bomb.com for your hair, you guys. I recommend it 10 out of 10. It is so good. And this one is called the Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. It says keratin-like treatment in a can, 24-hour frizz control. And then it has up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit of heat protection. Protection, I can't even talk. So, plus it smells really good, so that is a plus. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just going to spray this all, make sure that I can see myself. I'm going to spray this all over my hair. It smells so, so good. I'm going to try to like find it online, you guys, and insert a picture of this um, hair in the video if you guys are interested. Okay, so whenever I curl my hair, I don't go straight to curling my hair. I straighten my hair first. And I don't, I don't strain my hair like, like super, super straight. I just like pass a strainer through my hair like once in each section and then I'm done. So today I'm going to be using my strainer, which by the way, this one is also really, really good. This one heats up to like 455 and this one is from Hot Tools Professional. I got this one at Sally's like last year, I think. So like I said, I'm just going to grab one section of hair and just pass a strainer maybe like once. And I'm gonna do this till I am completely done. This is like my first time doing a hair tutorial, you guys. So if I mention, if I forget to mention something or if I say something wrong, I am so sorry, but just bear with me, okay? So let me talk to you guys a little bit about this wand, which I am just in love with it, you guys. So I got this as a gift last year or two years ago, and I had never heard about this brand until I went back to Ulta. This is like pretty pricey, you guys, but I think it is so worth it. I think this is like 200, 350, if I'm not mistaken. But the reason why is because, let me show you guys. So 
you can actually change the barrels it came with three in total i recently just bought this one myself like this barrel and this is like the 0.5 inch i think but this the base came with these three barrels and i think that is like so cool so you can actually change barrels whenever you want to right here it has like a little lock and unlock and if you just want to change this you just unlock it and like take this off it's still hot from when i turned it on earlier but anyways okay it's ready to use it heats up super fast by the way and i'm gonna start off by doing this like i said i usually start off by or from the middle of the section and then i just wrap it around the wand and i don't uh, wrap it all the way i leave like maybe like one inch of my hair from the wand just leave it here for about what five ten seconds and then i let it go and look at how cute this curl is Ta -da! super cute and i'm gonna move on to my next section And I usually try to grab like smaller sections just because it's way harder for me to curl my hair with a bigger sections of my hair. First of all, because it's wand. Second of all, because my hair is pretty long, so it won't fit in the wand, as you guys can see. So just like this, I'm just going to wrap it again. And it's pretty slippery. The wand is like pretty slippery, so I try not to like face of the wand all the way down maybe like have it to the side or something like this and look at this cute curl and then again i just push it to the side and i move on and grab another little section of hair I rest my my hand on my head <laughs> because I get tired. But again, here is a curl, super cute. And as you guys can see, this top part of my hair um, or this section, it's not really curled, but that's how I like it. It'll all come together and it will all make sense at the end, you guys. So it's not like fast forward this, um, this part, uh, so I won't bore you guys. But it's honestly just like the same steps, pretty repetitive. Guys, so I'm editing this video and I just realized that I forgot to mention to always curl your hair outwards, meaning away from your face and not inwards. So remember that. If you're looking into buying a curling iron, I would recommend investing in one maybe this one because i think it is so worth it and you can change the barrels whenever you want to depending on how you're feeling you know almost done curling my hair i'm almost here to the front section of my hair so but i pretty much do the same i'm still doing a small section starting from the middle section of my hair let me do this little section first. Oh, and I also do not apply any, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning, but I do not um, use any hairspray or any products after I'm done curling my hair. I just leave it like that, pretty natural. And because like I said, I don't wash my hair every day. So I don't like whenever my hair feels like all sticky, you know, with the hairspray and stuff. So I just leave it like that and since I'm like since I'm letting the curls sit like I told you guys then they don't fall off so we're good the section has like part of like my bangs I guess not even bangs they're like super long I actually cut my my bangs like three weeks ago like this um, front section of my hair that you guys can see like the shortest section and I was like oh my god what did I just do do not try this at home you guys for this last part 
I'm gonna do it all together. So I just, same thing, I start in the middle and then I kind of twist it, twist the curl a little bit, the curling iron, the wand, curling iron, wand, whatever. And then I wrap this again around the wand, but then I just kind of do this and let the wand do its thing. This is what I do and this is how it ends up looking at the end but anyways this is pretty much how my hair looks like after i am done curling my hair which i'm not going to touch it just yet remember i told you guys that uh i try to set the curls for about 25 to 30 minutes so that is what i'm going to do right now so i'm gonna wait for about 25 minutes and i will come back and do the fun stuff with you guys. And I think it's been about 20, 25 minutes. So I want them to loosen up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start uh, running my fingers through my hair and just kind of doing this to um, break them up a little bit. And it's going to start looking something like this. I don't know if you guys can see, but th like this part of my hair, it kind of goes like inwards, kind of just like hides. And then it's just weird. I don't really like it. So what I do is I go back to my strainer and I kind of like do it or go over it again with the strainer. So I grab this uh, front section, then I strain it a little bit from the top and then kind of do a curl with the strainer and I feel like and obviously I do run my fingers through this little curl that I just made with my fingers and I feel like I like it a lot better and I do the same thing over here especially right here I don't like it it's like it's like so awkward And then I do a curl. And boom. Another thing that I do sometimes is like strain the tip of my hair a little bit more. Like literally just the tip. Just like this. And I feel like it looks super cute. Same over here. Just the tips. Okay, well anyways, this is um, what the final result looks like and I think the curls look super, super cute, you guys. And let me show you guys from the back. Okay, if I put it up in a ponytail, which I'm probably going to do that after this video. <laughs> Don't judge me. But yeah, anyways, you guys, um, this is how I curl my hair and this is usually how I style my hair. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notifications on so you won't miss any of my videos. So I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on my next video.